So I'm sitting out here on my balcony enjoying all of this amazingly beautiful sun that Ghana has to offer. And I thought, you know what? Let's hop right on into today's vlog. So I received a comment and y'all know how much I love responding to comments. So I wanna take the opportunity on today's vlog to address the comment that was left. Let's get into this video. Before we get into this video, please excuse my kids in the background. They are a little bit rowdy today, but we gonna get through this anyhow. So I received a comment from Shani, I am believer, and it reads, what is the usual turnaround time that the electricity comes back on? How often in a month does this happen? And is it more prominent in Ghana than any other parts of Africa? Thanks in advance, sis. So when we're talking in terms of turnaround time, it all depends really on your location, what part of Ghana you are. I live right here in Cape Coast. At our previous apartment, we really didn't have an issue with lights out. Like it went out sometimes, but typically it would come right back on maybe within 20 minutes to an hour, maybe two, but it was never for a long extended period of time. However, when we relocated to the house we live in now, the lights out have been unbearable, especially in the hotter months when it's like super hot outside. And our lights would be off for, I would say anywhere from maybe 6 p.m. all the way to 10 a.m. the next morning. It was a period of time when I was thinking about running so fast away from Ghana because I was like, I cannot take these lights out. That's been a little bit of the challenge we've been facing being here in our house is constant lights out issue that we've been experiencing but things have gotten a lot easier i would say for maybe like the past month or so it the lights out issue hasn't been as bad we did go a good two months without having any lights out issues but it's kind of surfacing again but it hasn't been too bad i would say the longest that we've gone without lights just recently is maybe four hours and then they come back on. So for me, I can take four hours during the day. At night, for me, lights out is just, we just don't get along. Lights out at night and me and I, we just don't mix. It's just very hot and stuffy and uncomfortable and I just can't stand it. I'm the type of person where I need to have a fan on when I'm sleeping. So in Ghana, for me at night, it tends to get a little stuffy and warm in the room. So I like to keep the fan on. So when the lights go out and there's no fan operating, listen, I can't do it. I would prefer if the lights were gonna go out, if I had an option, I would rather take the lights out during the day than at night, but everybody's different. Some may want lights out during the day and maybe they can you know, deal with lights being out at night, but it all depends on who you are as a person. And as far as how often it happens in a month, like I said, it all depends on just Ghana really. Uh, because we just recently went maybe two months, a good two months without having a lights out issue. Now it's starting to surface a little bit and I'm hoping it doesn't get anywhere near as bad as it has in the past where we were going like literally almost 24 hours without any lights. It was horrible. So I'm hoping we don't ever get to that point. I hope the worst is behind us and we will gradually get to a better place. But if you're going to be moving to Ghana or even you're planning to visit, I would suggest either getting solar panels, a backup generator, or staying at a location that has either a backup generator or solar panels. Some people coming to Ghana may want that experience of what it's like to have lights out. Maybe they don't want either option and that's fine too because I remember visiting Ghana for the first time. I really appreciated and embraced every aspect of being here in Ghana. I wanted to see the good, the bad, the ugly, the happy, the sad of what it was like to be here. And that's only because I had the full intention of relocating here permanently. So I wanted to put myself in a position to know exactly what to expect and not be surprised or caught off guard by anything. And whether it's more prominent in Ghana or any other country in Africa, I'm not exactly sure because I haven't really read up on it to be honest, but I do know that in Nigeria, they do as well deal with a lot of lights out issues. But in Nigeria, it's not as bad because a lot of people live in there. From what I'm told, they have generators. So 
even though the lights go out, it's not an issue for them. I feel like that's something that we have to start moving towards being here in Ghana, is either you need solar panels or you need backup generators. So that way, when the lights go out, you're not affected. It's like, no big deal. And it also will help you save on an electricity bill, right? Because if not, if you're not using the electricity and you're using your solar panels or say your backup generator, which in my opinion, I feel that um, to use solar panels is a lot more cost effective because even with the backup generators, you have to make sure that you're putting kerosene in it and that can become a little bit costly when you think about the calculations of that if you're using it on a longer term basis. So in my opinion, it would be a lot more cost effective to just go ahead and have some solar panels installed so that way the beautiful sun which we see radiating so beautifully in this moment can help power your house and you don't have to worry about those additional expenses of what it would take to um, say power um, power a generator. Being in Ghana has a lot of challenges. It has its ups, it has its downs, but there is also so much good of residing here. And when you think of moving from a corrupt system, a stressful system, a system that's designed to you know, keep you begging and borrowing, and you're looking to move to greener, brighter territories, Anywhere you go on this on the whole face of this earth is going to come with its challenges. You're going to have ups and downs. Nowhere is perfect. And I think a lot of times when I'm on here and I'm showing the bad, people look at me like, oh my gosh, Melody, like you're, what are you trying to do? You're trying to destroy Ghana. You're trying to deter people from wanting to come there. And I am actually doing the complete opposite, I promise you. And the reason why I do what I do is because I know, like me, there are so many people out there who want to know every aspect of what it's like to truly be in a place. How can you make a decision to say, okay, I'm going to live somewhere and you haven't had the opportunity of having an authentic experience or even an authentic perspective. So that is the sole purpose of why I choose to create content. Sometimes that is very uncomfortable, especially for maybe Ghanaians that are residing here and they probably look at me as if I'm trying to like, you know, make their country look so poor and ridiculous. And that is not what I'm trying to do at all. But I feel that it is my job and my responsibility to bring an authentic perspective to the forefront so that when you're making a decision to relocate, you're able to make that decision from an all around perspective. And it's not just one sided. Oh, it's so beautiful and grand and amazing and come to Ghana and warm welcoming and lovely. And you know, all that's while all that's great. It's not necessarily always the case. And I think that people need to have that understanding that, okay, it's a lot of good that can potentially happen for me in Ghana, but there may be some challenges, there may be some obstacles that I should expect and maybe prepare for, right? Because how can you prepare for something that you have no knowledge of? At the end of the day, people are going to do what they do. I completely understand that. And I guess you could say I signed up for that the moment I decided to put myself on this camera. I signed up for the negative comments, the good comments, just like the channel represents, good, bad, ugly, right? So I signed up for it all as well when I decided to become a creator for the YouTube platform. And that's okay, but I want to speak directly to those who truly have the intention of relocating here to Africa, not just Ghana, you might want to go, you might want to go anywhere, you know, and so many other countries that you can choose to settle in aside from Ghana. And my prayer going into 2025 is that I can begin to just move around, travel with my kids and my family and be able to show every aspect of what it's like to be in these various places with kids. As a single individual, I just want to give an authentic all around perspective. And I'm praying that I will be able to do that these coming years, I will be able to travel. So that is something that I have my mindset on. That's my goal. And I just ask that you guys also keep me in your prayers. And also it would help me so much to reach my goal if you would just not only share this video, but when you comment as well, because the comments is gonna cause YouTube to really push my videos through the algorithms and get me to where I need to be. 
And also, if you can share, share, share these videos, because the more they are shared, the more exposure they get, the more YouTube will push these videos into the algorithm. So if you truly enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and support. Also, before you guys go, please watch this video to the end. Not only that, and don't skip the ads. I know it's annoying. I know sometimes it's just like, listen, I just want to hear what she has to say, but I just beg, please just let the ad play. Just let the ads play. Tune the ad out, sit it onto the side, do some little dishes or whatever. Preoccupy your time until the ad finishes, but it would help me so much to reach my goal if you guys would just let the ads play. Sis, I hope that answered all your questions, but if you have any more, you already know what to do. Please go ahead and drop a comment and I will be sure to respond as quickly as I can. So I thank you so much. Thank you for all your support. Everyone who's been here with me from the beginning, we still rocking out. Thank you so much. And if this is your very first time tuning into the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will see y'all on the next video. <laughs>